the 2K Sports pregame show. Good evening, sports fans. This is 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny Smith. Tonight, we'll be watching the Utah Jazz playing against the Miami Heat. For Miami, they're sitting at 500 over the last 10 games, kind of treading water. They'd really like to make a splash over the next few games. And the front lines for both teams tonight, powerful, explosive. Shaq, what's the key these days to building a great front court? Well, the more versatile, the better. Uh, you know, but it's more about skill and brute strength. You know I'm about skill and brute strength. I was the most skillful and brutally strong guy ever to play the game. It's right. You are brutal. <laughs> what's so funny? That, you know, front, guy, front court guys need to change ends. That's what's funny to me, Shaq. Nothing else. i just tell you right now, nothing else is funny to me. You want me to show you how strong I am? I'll flip this table over right now. I believe you could. <laughs> I believe you could. What you looking at, Ernie? Not much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. It's on. It's on. I see, Ernie. And here's no Kevin fear, Harlan. Ernie. Here's Kevin Harlan. I'll see you in the locker room, Ernie. <laughs> The crowd is coming here to Vivint Smart Home Arena, Salt Lake City, Utah, to cheer on their jams. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. For the Miami Heat, they come into tonight's game after the loss to the Lakers at the Staples Center. Yeah, I just thought their energy was lacking defensively. Just gave up way too many easy shots. You know what? That's a problem anytime, but especially on the road where you need to be given an extra effort. And as things get ready to roll, let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's on the sideline. David? Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Miami Heat has established that high standard for fitness. Even Eric Spolstra has gotten into it in his late 40s. The Heat coach says when he's working out, I'm in a different place. With physical, emotional, and mental benefits, I'm hooked. Kevin? As hard as he works, great that he takes care of himself, too. DA, thank you. Smitty, great defensive matchup here tonight. Two teams that uh, do a great job of communicating on the floor. And it's so important now, Kevin. You said it best, communicating. Now teams switch so much. I mean, one through five, they're switching. And if you have that one-week link who doesn't speak and don't communicate and he missed that assignment, it could be a layup or a wide-open three. Gentlemen. you got to value each Ready? possession now. Got to be able to talk out there, right, and alert your teammates what's going on. Kevin, we have a lot of talkers, and then we have a lot of guys that don't say much. All right, let's set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. Wade and Richardson, the two wings. Adebayo is out there with Whiteside, and it's Dragic in at the point guard position. Now, here's Mitchell. After Dwayne Wade's miss, Exum kicks to Mitchell. Nice ball movement by Utah. Six to shoot. Lets it go with a three. Miami grabs the miss. Last time they met was in Miami. And, and the last time these teams met, it was a walk in the park, and everybody got in on the act. Their bench was spectacular in that win. And you can be sure they will be counting on their reserves to step up again in a big way. Right side, no good. Mitchell outside. Pass to Exum. He kicks to Gobert. Now Mitchell. Back to Gobert. Pass to Exum. Off the left rim and out. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. And the foul on Dwayne Wade. That is his first foul of the game. That's something you hate. You're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset, and that early foul could take you right out of it. Gobert, the pass to Cephalosha. And Gobert kicks to Mitchell. There's the pass to Cephalosha. 
Back to Mitchell. Five on the clock. It's hauled in by Richardson. Three straight misses to begin this contest and already starting to look frustrated. Wade against Mitchell. Wade finds Whiteside. Dragic with it. Let's it go from 11, and he hits the jumper for two. Dragic has got the opening bucket of the night here for the Heat. How about the tempo Dragic plays with? Constantly working for a good shot. Back to Favors, and then Favors with the dunk. The chemistry Favors has with his teammates is outstanding. Really punches the basket through the rim on these alley-oop jams. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play sponsored by Under Armour Hover Havoc. Now here's Dragic. 26 points for him last game against the Lakers. And when you factor in the assist totals, that's a complete game. Mitchell against Wade. Over Mitchell. No good from Wade. Jazz have gone just one of four to get this game started. The drive by Mitchell. And Whiteside sends it back. With that long wingspan, Hassan Whiteside saying, no, not in my house. Mitchell against Wade. Sweet little floater. And he's got a nice, soft touch there with the floater, and he uses it beautifully. Utah trailing here. Mitchell kicks to Favors. Exum with it, now guarded by Dragic. Here's Gobert. That one, no good. And Miami the other way now. Richardson gets a wide-open look. The shot's good on the assist by Wade. You know, he's had a handful of seasons in the top ten in assists. Wade is a gifted passer. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And Derek Favors with the slam. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets. An exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. Well, Steve Bam Adebayo out of Kentucky adapting quickly to the NBA game. He's been a sponge, Kevin. Plays the game with an infectious energy. He's a keeper. Now, here's Richardson. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. Misses off the right iron. He's hit a rough patch this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it, though. With the teardrop, and Exum with the lay-in. Dante Exum is a truly talented player taking care of business down inside. Outside Dragic. Inside. From 10 feet out. That one off the back iron and out. He was all alone. Looks like he gets a little too relaxed. He has to maintain his focus. Nice ball movement by Utah. Cephalosia kicks to Mitchell. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. Terrific job in the screen and roll. Mitchell creates, whether it be for others or for himself. Wade dishes to Dragic. Back to Wade. Outside Dragic. Kicks it to Richardson. The rebound by the Jams. Just great at getting after it defensively, forcing guys into tough shots. Yeah, to be successful, you've got to protect the paint. He rises to that challenge. And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. And now let's take a look at the stats for Dragic. This past month, he's really set himself apart. He's averaging about 19 points per, four assists, and three rebounds. And he's been putting up points with regularity. I mean, that's what they depend on, his killer instinct on offense. Well, and we've seen defenses try to adjust, but he has the intelligence along with the talent, just finds new ways to beat him. Now, here's Richardson. Here's Wade over Mitchell. No good off the front iron. 
It's been a frustrating quarter for him shooting the basketball. He just has to make sure he's taking good shots. Exum kicks to Gobert. It's stolen by Dragic. Passes it to Autobio. Right side against Gobert. Trying to get something going. Out to Wade. Lock at six. Poke loose from the stripe. Over Mitchell. Again, the miss by the Heat. And, you know, not sure if it's him or the defense, but just something's off tonight. Especially in this quarter. He's had a few shots that looked like they would fall, but things haven't gone his way. This is what it means to be a catalyst. His offense helps set the tone for a lot of what they do. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Steve, the golden era of basketball for the Jazz were in the late 90s with Stockton and Malone. What was it like playing against those teams? Well, they were unguardable in the pick and roll. Fantastic in the fast break situation. Carl Malone, one of the best runners at the four position. And then you had John Stockton. If you made a mistake, he would make you pay with the pass. And they had toughness. Probably would have won a title if Jordan wasn't around. Looking at who's out there now for the Jazz. Crowder, he's checked in for favors. Joe Ingles comes in for Cephalosha. And it's Burkson for Donovan Mitchell. Let's go to the 2K leaderboard. Here are the team leaders in steals. You need to play heads up against these squads. The fourth spot held by the Jazz. You can't get careless with the basketball against this group. I mean, they'll pick your pocket, and, and no surprise to see them in the upper echelon as far as steals. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. Free throw drops for Ingles. It was a long and winding road to the NBA for Ingles. Played in Australia, Spain, and Israel. Finally got his chance with the Clippers and then the Jazz in 2014. And the Jazz making a change here. Udo's checked in. And so he hits both. And Steve talking about Ingles. Once he did break in, he more than held his own. As a rookie, he started 32 games, then kept building on his success, earning his coach's trust. Ultimately, he landed a really nice contract, and he has continued to play well. Now, here's Olenek. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against the Lakers in Los Angeles. He was really aggressive on the glass, too. He really racked up on the boards out there. Exum passes to Crowder. Ingles kicks to Burks. Fires from deep. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And that's from beyond, guys. Right back at you. This is looking more like an all-star game right now. Everyone launching from range. Now here's Johnson. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And there's the foul on Jay Crowder. That is his first foul of the game. Here is Whiteside. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Down to five on the shot clock. And the defense not making things easy for them. Can't connect from 13 feet out. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. You look at the Bucks. They're looking extremely sharp right now. Poised in the top spot and playing very well. And of course Miami. Seven and a half games behind. And right now for Miami, they're in the mix for a playoff spot, which, which is definitely a positive. But I'm sure they'd like to have had their hands around that spot a little tighter than they do. I agree. They're not going to be able to coast. They're going to have to battle their way into the postseason. But maybe they'll toughen up by the time the playoffs arrive. It's good. And it's an eight-point jazz lead. I love to see that aggression. Exum unafraid to pound it inside against some pretty good defense. Ellington finds Olenek. Pass to Ellington. Ingles against Johnson. 
right side, the pass to Ellington. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. And a chance here to look at the numbers for Whiteside. Second in blocks, fourth in rebounding. And not many players convert opportunities inside as well as he. Top 15 in field goal percentage. Mm -hmm. And as you said, one rung below the leader in block shots. Tremendous motor. He, he's simply been destroying opponents in the lane. Now, here's Burks. 11 points last game. Dives for it, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ingles. The Heat trail by eight. Now, here's Ellington. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Shot clock at six. Now here's Johnson. He's tightly guarded. Utah leading by eight. Exum deciding where to go with it. And the foul called on Hassan Whiteside. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Udo. He's covered by Whiteside. Pass to Burks. Lock at six. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Johnson kicks to Johnson. Miami no good on that time either. Utah has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Crowder finds Exum. And here is Ingles. The pass to Udo. Crowder from outside. Utah with a fresh 24. And Udo with the stuff. Uh, I don't know if you can do it any better on both ends than they have tonight. It's early, but they have taken full control of this game. And the fans here, they know it. Now, here's Whiteside. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Exum with a wide open look. And count it from 19 feet away. And the Jazz lead by 12. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. The shot's good from Ellington. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Burks. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around 7.5 points a game. Ingles kicks to Crowder. And it's Whiteside with the rebound. Unfortunately for him, the defense is slow to react, but he couldn't make them pay. Passes to Johnson. To the inside. Wants to get it back to Whiteside and does. Let's it go from the wing. Johnson can't get it to go. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Udo, the pass to Exum. Three-pointer, Crowder, poked away. And so it's the Utah Jam. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And we'll be back with you shortly. Versatility is so important in today's NBA that works just fine for combo guard Tyler Johnson. I don't really limit myself to one position. I feel like I can guard both positions. Um, being able to do that, I feel like I'll have the capability to fill in when needed. And with all the switching we see teams Greg employing right now, that defensive versatility is highly prized, highly valuable. And Johnson, an excellent athlete. He's got the tools to impact the game both offensively and defensively. 
And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And the guys, what's your take on Utah so far? I mean, through one, you have to like the effort, especially on that defensive end. There are several ways, as you know, to take control of a game. Getting stops is one of them. We've got Jay Crowder. Joe Ingles is out there with Alec Burks. Then there's Udo, and it's O'Neal in at the three slot. That's the group for Utah getting going here in the second. James Johnson, one of those do-everything guys you love to have, brings in energy, physicality, and toughness. free throw missing and Smitty I'd say that James Johnson one of the better defensive players in the NBA yeah teams look for those strong physical wings who can guard multiple positions he can defend all five positions and never afraid of contact and he ends up missing both free throws and what James Johnson brought with him coming into this league physicality. He combines size, strength, athleticism, and a seven-foot-one wingspan. Now here's Johnson following the shot by Alec Burks. Crowder kicks to Burks. Bucket is good. Burks has got the first basket of the second quarter for Utah. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Here's Johnson. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that. Absolutely fearless. I mean, a, a nice, subtle adjustment there going up against Wynn. Well, this is where he shows both skill and body control along with the attack mindset. O'Neal misses. The Heat trail by nine. Johnson surveying the floor. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Remember back in 2016, James Johnson signed a make good contract with the Heat. He's transformed his body going from about 274 to under 240. And in the following season, they rewarded him with a four-year $60 million deal. That one falls for Johnson. And for James Johnson, losing all that weight seems to have unlocked his versatile, uh, high-energy game, Greg. Yeah, and this lower weight, Kevin, this guy's a wall of muscle. You combine that with the greater mobility, and now he possesses an athletic advantage most every night. He takes the floor. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. And while we have a chance, here are the teams that have swatted away the most shots this season. Number one, the Heat. And sometimes a team will get one guy who can block. Other times a guy finds ways to get others involved in blocking. It, it can be contagious. If Two he shots. can do it, wh why not me? Then all of a sudden you look up and you're leading the league in blocks. First free throw is good. A tremendous athlete. Unfortunately for Burks, he has had some bouts with injuries, but he's a guy who can take over stretches with his length and quickness. Josh Richardson's checked in for Miami. And Burks hits two free throws. Well, Alec Burks, he's just one of those guys you just love to watch attack the rim and attack that defense. Yes, he's a nice ball handler, can create his own offense. He can get to the rim, and he gets to the line. He only needs a better jump shot to take the next step. 
And with that, the Utah lead is cut down to just eight points with the bucket from Dragic. Boy, the defense was physical on that play, but Dragic has added strength over the years and able to complete the bucket. Now, here is O'Neal. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And here's the upcoming schedule now for the Miami Heat. On Friday, they'll take on Marc Gasol and the Memphis Grizzlies. Then on Sunday, they'll be facing Drew Holiday and the New Orleans Pelicans. And looking at the Bucks matchup, you know they're going to want to make a statement in that contest. Taking down the top team in the East could definitely turn some heads. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Burks's shot is good. His temperature is rising. I mean, it is rising. The Heat trail by 11. Now a timeout called by Miami. Steve, you played with six different NBA teams. What's the best way to earn the respect of new teammates, for instance, and in, in the case of you with the six different teams you played on? I think, uh, Kevin, being yourself in all situations, you come in and you do what we used to call the obvious. You play extremely hard. You're a good teammate, and obviously being on time, and you don't be one of those players that deviates from the system. Come in and follow the game plan, and don't try to go outside the game plan, and just be reliable and be disciplined. Good perspective. And here's Wade following the three from Alec Burks. Here's Mitchell. That's tipped. Al Richardson. Down low. And with that, the Utah lead is cut down now to just nine in the bucket from Dragic. And we see this a lot with Gorn, using his size and craftiness to finish inside. And the foul on Dwayne Wade. And that'll be his third foul so far. And that's his third foul. The chance you take leaving him in with two. Let's see if they'll sit him now until the half. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Cephalosia kicks to Favors. The Jazz working the ball around now. Count that one. Burks has got 12 in the game. That's all confidence right there. He knows he's in a groove, and they've got this team on its heels. Pass to Wade. He feeds it to Olenek. Pass to Autobio. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. And it was the screen there, guys, that freed him up as he ran his man into it. And then it was all acceleration, G.A., to the bucket right after that. That was just a textbook pick that allowed him room, and he took advantage of it. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, as we know, Rudy Gobert is a seven-footer with an aggressive mentality. He said, some guys don't have pride, but I do, sometimes too much. Quinn Snyder said he gets angry, which I like. Whatever kind of stereotypes Americans have about the French, they don't apply. Not to him anyway, guys. Exactly blue. Thank you, T.A. He is indeed a fiery competitor. Now, here's Burks. After the miss from Goran Dragic. And here's Richardson. He dishes it to Dragic. Olenek. And that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. He has five. Beautiful vision to find the open man. Gorn leading by example. Burks on the wing. He's guarded by Dragic. Sevaloja with it. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Five to shoot. Baseline try. Rebound by the Heat. Oh, Linux got his fourth rebound in this one. Richardson kicks to Dragic. And the pass to Olenek. Off target from outside. He hit one three in the first, but the well has been totally dry for him in the second. And the foul on Josh Richardson. That's his first foul. That's 
Off the inbound pass and misses it off the right side of the rim. The Heat trail by nine. Ball's knocked loose to the paint. Here's Trogic. Good D by Mitchell. That's one of his shots in his arsenal, but it was terrific rim protection. And it's the Heat with the ball. Dragic taking his time here. Wade kicks to Olenek. And the three off target. For the Utah Jazz, they come in off a loss to the Thunder in Oklahoma City. You know, they worked hard, they drew fouls, but they just couldn't convert at the line. And it's one of those things that can deflate your team. After all that effort, you want points. Two open that time, made it look too easy. Mitchell's got the lead up to 12 now for the Jams. Well, it seems the Heat's identity is always built, Steve, on defense. Physical and nastiness, part of the system, part of the culture in Miami. Now a timeout called by Miami. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Dante Exum, he's checked in for Alec Burks. And again, it's the Heat missing. The defense fortunate there. He's a guy you hate to leave wide open. And slam dunk by Gobert. Just throw it up to Gobert, and he will take care of the rest using that enormous wingspan. Rogic finds Richardson. Here's Adebayo. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Lakers. Mitchell against Dragic. Mitchell dishes to Exit. The shot, no good. Wade with the defensive effort. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Passes to Dragic. Good on the triple. Dragic has got seven points here in this quarter. He's done his job tonight scoring the basketball, but they've still been outplayed overall. Now, here's Exum. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Oklahoma City. Mitchell kicks to Gobert. Clock at four. The three from Cephalosha. That shot missing. And Miami the other way now. Up next for him, the Grizzlies at the FedEx Forum. And that will be the fifth game of the six-game road trip. Rockets the pass to Autobio. Mitchell against Wade. Pass to Olenek. And here's Richardson. And the rejection by Favors. The 7 4 arm span of Favors paying big dividends when it comes to rim protection. Joe Ingles, he's checked in for Utah. And then for Miami, Whiteside's checked in for Olenek. Johnson comes in for Richardson. And it's Johnson in for Dwayne Wade. So Favors will bring it up for the Utah Jams. They've led by as many as 14 points. Here's Mitchell. That one a little long. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Outside Dragic. Johnson in the corner. No good with the triple. Utah leading by 11. Now, Ingles, taking a look at the scoring numbers. Right now, he averages about nine points a game. Inside. Here's Favors. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. He's had an NBA body from day one, and Favors knows how to carve out space. Rogic finds Johnson. And here's Exum. He has six. And then Mitchell with the dunk. A tall guard who can see over the defense. Exum with no trouble locating the open teammate. 
Johnson outside. Just five to shoot. Johnson down low. Ingles covering. Miami no good on that time either. Jazz leading by 15. Here's Mitchell. The rebound by Johnson. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Tries it from nine. Pulled the shot a little up, but the bounce goes his way. Yeah, James Johnson off the drive. Big, strong, but also very skilled. Exum kicks to Gobert. Dishes it to Mitchell. Over Dragic. Again, Mitchell missing. The Heat trail by 13. Johnson outside. Outside Dragic. Good ball movement here by Miami. Johnson with it. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. And there's Johnson. That's good. On the assist by Johnson. Six points for James Johnson. It's amazing. He is on fire here in the second period after going scoreless in the first. Johnson against Mitchell. Back to go bear. On the wing, Mitchell. Over Johnson. And then Mitchell with the dunk. And the Jazz lead by 12. Miami's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Here's Exum. He has six. And taken away by Johnson. And Dragic has it in the corner. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on Dante Exum. Showing the courage and strength to take it up inside. Gorn will now go to the line. This is his first free throw of the game. And what a season he's had at the foul line thus far. 86% from the line. And that one falls for Dragic. A rare bad trade by the San Antonio Spurs. Dragic was their second round pick in 2008. They traded his rights to the Suns for a player who didn't even make the roster. Both free throws good from Dragic. And so we conclude the first half. Jazz lead by 10. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. With Coach Quinn Snyder, Quinn, what has to happen in the second half? Well, we got to keep getting stops. I mean, really just make plays. Make plays on the offensive end and, and be solid defensively. No, no magic. It's a pretty simple game, right, Coach? Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, Hoop fans. NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. EJ, Shaq, Jet. Utah finds themselves ahead after two quarters. They lead by 10. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Utah? Well, they really dictated the pace of the game with their transition game. They got out on the break every chance they had, and the time they could push the tempo, they did. And a lot of times, it kept the defense scrambling like eggs with the cheese and apple juice. Kenny, what'd you think about Miami? Well, one problem I see is that they're too timid on the boards. When you start to fall behind in the game, you need to become more aggressive on the offensive glass and the defensive glass. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? Wow. 
The streets and buildings of Salt Lake City lit up gorgeously as we welcome you back to the action here in Utah. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books, one half to go. It's been one outstanding game so far from Alec Burks. And I love the game plan in that first half. They really value each possession. You know what? It's hard to do. Stay in focus and discipline with your approach. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Jazz leading by 10. Here's who Eric Spolstra is starting the second half with. Wade and Richardson, the two wings. Whiteside is out there with Adebayo. And it's Dragic in at the one. Now, here's Exum. He's guarded by Dragic. And so it's Wade. He'll bring it up for the Heat. Puts it up from 12. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Wade's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Heat. Exum kicks to Favors. Down low, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Richardson against Cephalosha. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And now, a look at Rudy Gobert here. Some nice work from him over the last 10 games. He's averaging seven points a game, 10 rebounds, and three assists. Solid numbers, the kind of production we expect. And frankly, I think he's got another level to take it to. I totally agree. He has the IQ and the ability to take it up another level anytime he wants. Now here's Gobert. Now here's Mitchell. And that's a foul called on Bam Adebayo. That's his first foul. Well, Goran Dragic was selected as an alternate for the All-Star game last season. But this Miami Heat team still lacks star power. And Favors kicks to Mitchell. Six to shoot. Pulls from the top of the key. A good contest there by Wade using his wingspan to bother that shot. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. Here's Adebayo. Currently averaging almost six points a game. Right side, the pass to Richardson. A three-pointer off the mark. The Heat are a playoff caliber team, but hard to see them really, Smitty, breaking through as presently constructed. They have some quality young players, but make no mistake, they love to swing a trade for a franchise player. Well, what did Coach tell us? He wanted each guy to contest shots and rebound tonight. That's exactly what we just saw. Pass to exit. Here's Favors. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And Steve, you'll remember Favors had that impressive rookie season, but he's been somewhat up and down since. He's kind of an old school power forward. Might have been an all-star 20 years ago, but nowadays the best forwards can shoot from range and can defend on the perimeter. First free throw is good. And for so long, it seems Derek Favors had played in a crowded front court, but still can get the job done. And Favors has shown his versatility and impact in spot minutes his whole career. Every team can use a player like Favors. He just eats up space inside and can play that tough D. Offensively, I think he'd like to get back to where he was around 2015, and hopefully he'll find the chances to do so. 
And Smitty, for players going from college to the pros, which skills tend to be most immediately transferable? You know, I think the skills on offense, a lot of times those guys um, are able to drive the basketball and penetrate. Those are the guys that can transfer easily from college. I think it's hard shooting-wise being able to shoot the three ball at the college level because at the NBA level, the line is pushed back. And I think the one skill level that gives a lot of young guys a lot of uh, gives them a hard time is defensively. I think that's the one skill is not easily transferred to the NBA. Here's Wade. Hassan Whiteside made his last pass. Well, Smitty Dwayne Wade back for another season in a Miami Heat uniform. Great to see a legend and a future Hall of Famer still putting in work. The most important player in franchise history. He belongs, Kevin, in a Heat uniform. The Heat have shot 50% from the line today. Three for six. Two shots. That's good from Wade. And Dwayne Wade had hoped to return to the Miami Heat. Last season at the trade deadline, he got his wish. And it just seems right when he's in a Miami Heat uniform. It's a second home for him, and he's back where he belongs, baby. Wade County. And Wade drops them both. Dwayne Wade at the stripe. How many times have we said that before? He lives there. Now, here's Exum. He's guarded by Dragic. Exum kicks to Gobert. In the corner, Cephalosha with it. Shot on the wing. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Richardson dishes to Wade. It's Adebayo, top of the key. Here's Whiteside. Tips it up. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Adebayo's got his second bucket of the night. Oh, how about the deft touch right there, guys? He just guided that ball back up and in. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. Now here's Favors. Nine points in the game so far. Now here's Exum. He's guarded by Dragic. Exum's shot is off. Oof, ugly start to the second half. They're still scoreless in their first five attempts. Bucket is good. And it's now only a one-point Utah lead. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. The pass to Gobert. To the paint. And Exum gets it to go on the assist by Gobert. Eight points for Dante Exum. Important points there. Got him on a nice play, getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, the Jazz had to weather the loss of Gordon Hayward, so they need to play together to have success. Coach Quinn Snyder said, we expect guys to put the team in front of themselves and support each other. Our strength isn't in one guy. We need each other. Kevin? David, one thing for sure, they come to play almost every game. Thank you. Now, here's Mitchell. After the miss from Goran Dragic. How does he miss that layup? He's too good to be doing that. Richardson kicks to Dragic. For the tie. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip. Five for ten. Not really a long-range shooter, but Goran Dragic must be a priority for the defense on that play. Mitchell outside. Here's Gobert. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. And for good reason, we talk about the effect of Gobert's wingspan somewhere around seven feet, nine inches. Kevin, that's a tremendous advantage that few others have. I guess Mo Bamba's up there around seven feet, ten inches. And of course, my old teammate Manu Bo still holds the record at eight feet, six inches.
And that one misses. Now, Steve, to play in the NBA, you need to be in peak shape. Talk about your diet and workout regimen back when you were in the game. I will give myself an A-plus for workout regimen back in the day, Kevin. Wow. And then that diet part, ooh, ooh, I would say C-minus. That was a D. Yeah, you got it right. I would say a D. I try to give myself a little credit <laughs> and say C-minus. I would say I love to see right now the cross workouts right now with guys doing Pilates, yoga, swimming. They're trying different things. Here's Seth Ocean after the heat pickup, too. Got a piece of it, and Gobert kicks to Mitchell. 16 feet away, and good. He got the English that time as it falls. Mitchell's got 13. Donovan Mitchell, he covers every base, even showing the touch from mid-range. Olenek finds Johnson. Kicks it out to Richardson. Back to Johnson for the lead. They get it again. And got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. For Utah, they've gone a lackluster three of nine from the field since halftime. To the paint. In the corner, Cephalosha with it. Nice ball movement by Utah. A shot by Burks. Nobody around. Nailed from three-point land. 15 points in the game. That's where Burks has shown he can be efficient shooting the ball with the catch and release. Mitchell against Johnson. He kicks it to Olenek. To the middle. And the jam by Whiteside. The thing about Whiteside, he has a quicker jump than you might expect. Jazz have gone a somewhat so far 4 of 10 on their shots in the second half so far. Mitchell with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. Passes it to Burks. Let's it go from 14. Again, the Jazz score. Don't be fooled. Burks can flat out fill it up. The Heat trail by three. Now Johnson. Pass to Whiteside. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Utah has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Inside from six away. And Whiteside sends it back. And it's out of bounds. Utah able to retain possession here. And Utah making a change here. Ingles is checked in. And Miami also making a switch. James Johnson's checked in for Whiteside. Ingles passes to Burks. Kicks to Gobert. Now Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. Burks in the corner. The Jazz again can't hit it. Miami trailing. Johnson outside. And the Heat get another bucket right there. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Johnson against Mitchell. The dish to Burks. Pass to Ingles. Teardrop shot. The rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got four rebounds in this game. Kicks it out to Johnson. Now here's Ellington. He's covered closely. Now the pass to Johnson. Launches a three. Utah with the rebound. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now, here's Ingles. Passes it to Gobert. Ingles kicks to Mitchell. Back to Ingles. Pass to Gobert. Now, here's Burks. He's guarded by Johnson. Second chance shot. 
No good off the back of the rim. The Heat with the lead. Richardson finds Johnson. Pass to Ellington. It's stolen by Ingles. In transition, here come the Jams. Can they get it? Nice jump shot. Good. Superb vision and decision by Jay Crowder. Rotating the ball, executing this offensively, flawless. Certainly a major strength of this Utah Jazz team is the way they can dominate on the defensive end. Up and down the roster, there are a lot of solid defenders. Rudy Gobert is the big name, but guys like Ingles, Crowder, Mitchell, and Rubio are all great as well. This team can just be suffocating defensively. Now here's Johnson. He kicks to Olenek. Miami no good on that time either. And this is what he gives you, the ability to contest the shot without fouling. Perimeter defense at a premium these days. You see the value in this kind of effort. Here's Ingles. Here's Gobert. Basket counts. Gobert's got six points. And as Rudy Gobert has been adding bulk, he's only getting better at finishing through contact. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Now here's Ellington, defended by Crowder. Just five on the clock. And with that, the Utah lead is cut down to a point with the bucket from Olenek. And really, the improvement as a finisher is noticeable for Kelly Olenek. And here is Mitchell. To the paint, Gobert the pass to Burks. Off on that one. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Utah out in front, up by one. Live from Vivint Smart Home Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. A chance now to hear Coach Quinn Snyder talking to his team moments ago in the huddle. Let's just keep playing with the same intensity, okay? On misses, you guys really run in space. Anyone can bring it. Well, he's trying to get them to maintain that edge right now. And, and solid advice from Coach Snyder, wanting his squad to remain engaged. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. Joe Ingles is out there with Exum. Then there's Udo. Then it's O'Neal. And it's Gobert in at the center position. That's the five on the floor for the Jams. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Joe Ingles has made himself into an offensive threat, and defenses have taken notice. Well, Heat fans, not the league's loudest, but they do show up. If they sell out the arena every night. They love their team, and it's a great place to play. First one falls for him. The Utah Jazz, their offense, they can go at you from several angles. They have a lot of shot creators and a lot of guys that can put it on the floor. Solid shooting, and they don't get sped up on the offensive end. Derek Favors checked in for Utah. The Heat also with a sub. Wade's checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And Smitty with the Jazz offense, they are looking for that corner three. Yes, indeed. They took advantage of that last season. They took the most corner threes in the league, and they had the third highest percentage from there. And the three ball is good. Hey, it's not what he's known for, but every so often, Wade does pull up from deep. Exum kicks to Udo. The pass to Ingles. O'Neal against Johnson. Now, here is O'Neal. Defense right on him. Rebound by the Heat. 
Wade's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Johnson with it. Now defended by Exum. Stolen by Exum. Wade against Ingles. And Udo with the stuff. I like that play by Joe Ingles. Doesn't have anything he wants. Keeps the ball moving. Up top, Frogic. He's guarded by Udo. Johnson outside. Kicks it to Olenek. Shoots over Exum. And Olenek with the basket on the assist by Johnson. Olenek's got the game tied up here for the Heat. One item that stood out, their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking. And more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. Now, here is O'Neal. Shot clock at five. Three-pointer. And it's Miami with the rebound. Wade outside. Outside Dragic. Passes it to Autobio. He kicks it to Olenek. On the wing, Johnson. Over O'Neal. And the shot falls short this time. Jazz have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. On the wing, Ingles. Wade is covering. Pass to Exum. And here is Ingles. With the teardrop, that one drops for him. Ten points for Dante Exum. Very comfortable in the pick and roll. That time, Exum called his own number. Rogic finds Olenek. Wade with it. The kick out to Dragic. He dishes it to Olenek. That's in coming off an assist from Dragic. Dragic has got his third assist on the night. There it is. Just lined it up and knocked it down. His first three of the half, second of the game. Now, here is O'Neal. Ingles with the ball. Poked away, and it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. Tabo Cephalosha has checked in for Joe Ingles. And Miami with a change here, too. Whiteside's checked in. Miami's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Outside Dragic. Here's Wade. He's off on that one. And it's Utah the other way. Coming down the stretch here, holding the lead. You like him to be more efficient offensively. Sepalosha dishes to exit. And it's Miami with the rebound. Wade left side. Elbow shot is on the way. And the shot is long. For Utah, they've gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. A nice shot by Exum. How about these big shots for him in the fourth? He has been locked and loaded offensively. Wade against O'Neal. Wade, bounce pass. Here's Dragic. That's his sixth field goal today, and that makes him now six for 11. Great job of taking control of the offense tonight. Dragic loves to be the man. Exum kicks to Favors. Pass to Cephalosha. 13 feet away. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Wade outside. With a floater, and it's good on the way in. And it's a three-point heat lead. Now we can say it. He's a completely different shooter this half. Much more confidence, much more success. It's intercepted. Down low. That's in coming off an assist from Trogic. Trogic has got his fourth assist in this one. 
And it's Exum with the ball who will bring it up for the Utah Jazz. They get to take on the Magic at Orlando after this one. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. And this is one of those times where the coach has got to preach, be unselfish. And we don't know that he hasn't. Maybe it's been falling on deaf ears. Guys taking ill-advised jump shots. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Cephalosha. A different look for Utah. Gobert comes in for Utah. And it's Mitchell in for O'Neal. Josh Richardson's checked in for Miami. Here's Wade. Just five to shoot. Off target from the baseline. Jazz trail by five. Mitchell outside. Cephalosia passes to Mitchell. And favors kicks to Gobert. Mitchell wide open. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. And he has the chops for this. Raising the intensity when it matters most. You see why his number is being called dangerous score down the stretch. Now here's Dragic. And what an alley-oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. For Utah, they've gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth. Four of nine. Now here's Gobert, dishes it to Mitchell. The pass to Exum. Sinks the three-pointer. Exum's got nine points now in just the second half. Miami's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it, nine times they've missed. Here's Dragic, back to Wade. Outside Dragic. over Exum. No good from Trogic. For Utah, they've gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. A floater. That's a basket. He is 8th from the field, 8 of 14. This is what you knew he was capable of. Exum taking over offensively. Outside Trogic. Kicks it to Wade. Shoots over Exum. Again, the Heat good for 2. And after a first half in which their offense shot under 40%, they've got the lead, and they should count themselves to be lucky. Now, here's Exum. Pass to Mitchell. Exum with it. He's guarded by Dragic. Cephalosia finds favors. Now, here's Exum. Guarded closely. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Man, at an important point in this game, that kind of turnover can really shift momentum. The Heat have got a pretty good rhythm going offensively, shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. Timeout called the Heat. What a year for the Utah Jazz in 2018. A fifth-place finish in the West with a solid 48-win season. Definitely surpassed the expectations many had going into the year. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Goran Dragic. And he's had a very good night shooting the basketball, a little over 50% from the field. And a lot of those shots have come against some tight D. That shows the level of his focus and consistency. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Well, during that break, Eric Spolstra had some words for his team. And he's pushing them to empty the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but we can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed. Guys. The second chance effort. They grab their own miss. Adebayo. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on Dante Exum. First free throw is good. 
They have plenty of ball handlers and athletes on this Heat's roster. Despite that, they play at a slow pace. That's just the team's M.O. Second free throw, no good. Now offensively, the Heat don't run, but they're not shy about gunning. They don't run, but they shoot a lot of three-pointers. You need that shot to compete in today's game. Here's Wade following the basket by Donovan Mitchell. Here's Adebayo. There's the dish to Dragic. Not going to go that time. Great D that time from Favors. Here's Cephalosha. And Utah again with the bucket. We've seen some great competition in this one. Yeah, seven already in the game. And I think it shows you how well these two teams match up with one another. Now here's Wade. He kicks it to Dragic. Over Exum. Dragic gets the bucket. And the Heat lead by one. This is when the game becomes real. Your leaders need to step up. Dragic did just that. Exum dishes to Mitchell. It's deflected, and they're able to recover. Up top, Favors. Exum kicks to Favors. Here's Cephalosha. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Over Wade. Misses off the left iron. And here's Whiteside. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. It's a one-point game. Wade gets the bucket. Has there ever been a more cold-blooded finisher than Dwayne Wade? The bigger the moment, the better he is. Here's Mitchell after the made shot from Dwayne Wade. Down low. Al Richardson. That's in coming off an assist from Dragic. Richardson's got the lead up to five now for the Heat. And whatever it was at halftime worked because their offense far more effective here in the second. They finally found some sets that are working for them. I mean, a tough matchup. Donovan Mitchell is too explosive, too strong, and he's only going to get better. At the line for two. He hits the first one, and that shrinks the margin to just four. In a short time span, I'm amazed at how far Donovan Mitchell's come. He has very few weaknesses for a young player. Kelly Olenek checked in for Whiteside. And Mitchell drops them both. He thrives in these big moments. He's always ready to help put the game away. Up top, Dragic. The feed to Olenek. And no good that time. Gobert with the defensive effort. Wade against Mitchell. Count it! And that shot brings them to within just one. <laughs> what more can you ask for? Phenomenal here in the clutch. This is what fans tune in to see. Here's Dragic. Count it! Wow, out, look at out. the confidence of Goran Dragic putting the Start. team on his back. And the Jazz call time here. They're trailing by three. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? Hey, they do have enough time here if they shoot quickly to get the two for one. Well, we'll see if they try Exum passes to Mitchell. Time out, time out. Ladies and 
29 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Floats one. Excellent D from Wade. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. And he commits the intentional foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a five-point game. Tremendous showing of confidence by getting those two to fall. And Utah has possession. Mitchell right side. No good from 11 feet. And so they foul intentionally. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Shooting for Miami. Moran tragedy. Two shots. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. And so he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. Six seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Exum kicks to Favors. There's the triple. Off on that one. And so it's Miami winning this one. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Dwayne, you really got on the glass tonight. How did that happen? Yeah, Coach Zoe made a rebound. I've been trying to rebound lately, so just trying to get down there and help our big guys out. Well, you helped him in a big way, Dwayne. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.